Could it be? 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 Well, in a way. When the new Act 2 update came out, I was excited to try it because I heard about the change to the style meter. I've been saying for a while that one of Ultra Kill's biggest problems is the arbitrary nature of its style meter, that it should have some kind of impact on gameplay as a reward for engaging with it. They called me crazy. They said I should just be styling because it's fun. It doesn't need to be integrated into the combat. Well, here we are with a new version of Ultra Kill that rewards the player with better health regeneration through the style meter by speeding up the reduction of hard damage. Hey, that's a great idea. I feel like I've heard it somewhere before. There's so many things you could do to make the stylish mechanics actually mean something. Maybe the style meter tied into a health regeneration system. So you're welcome, Ultra Kill players. I'm happy that I was able to make your game better. Me alone. What in the hell is he doing? What the hell is he doing? What is he doing? Why the hell is he playing the game like that? Ah, all right, how about, you know, look, the skit was kind of funny, but, you know, let's just get to the main point. Skip. All right, so this is it. Uh, what are you talking about? What arbitrary nature? The style meter is essential to the gameplay mechanics. Not only does it prompt you to play better, but the entire point of the game is creativity and style. Use creativity and style or die. And also, have you noticed something interesting? Yeah, Under the Mail's gameplay is kinda sucky. Yeah, it's like you kinda suck. Look, man, don't blame the game for your lack of skill at the game. You can't blame the game just because you suck. That sounds like projection. What the hell? You're t because you're taking out your issue of the game on the style meter like, oh, it's arbitrary. No, it's not. Just because you can't utilize it very well doesn't mean that the style meter is arbitrary. That means that you barely have any style with the game. Look at you. You're still on destructive. You have a low style rank. How are you going to have a low style rank and criticize the style meter? You look ridiculous. Hard damage is accumulated as you get hit and temporarily lowers your max HP. As your style meter increases, this hard damage is reduced faster, making it easier to survive. The style meter itself has also been rebalanced to reward weapon freshness, decreasing the amount of style points you get for just abusing one gun, encouraging variety, which is another excellent change. This is what I've been asking for. I personally still think the game needs a huge redesign to make ammo limited, with traditional pickups around the arena and a style meter that regenerates ammo, so you're rewarded with infinite ammo from a stylish performance. The reward is that you beat enemies and clear stuff faster. Stop talking about, oh, there needs to be a reward for how you play. Yeah, genius, there is a fucking reward for how to fuck you play, you dumbass. The reward is that you start clearing through enemies faster and you do better. And look, under the mail, I love your work, I really do, but what the fuck are you doing? Why this game of all games? Again, you clear enemies faster, you do better at the game, you perform better because you're focusing on the style meter, you're focusing on the creativity. That's in the style, that's the point of the game. Yeah, it is fun, ding -a -ling. Dumbass, it's really fun. I have no idea why you're sitting here shocked that people have told you that. That's the point of the game, and the fact that you're focusing on style and creativity, guess what, you're rewarded for it. Now you get secret bosses, secret encounters, secret enemies. Now you beat people more. Now you have more mastering of the mechanics of the game because you focus so much on the creativity and fun. Now the mechanics, now you're getting better. Now it's getting faster. Now you're learning about combos and complex mechanics because the mechanics of Ultra Kill are complex, dude. So what the fuck? Because without it, the first four chapters of the game continue to suffer. It's still a runaway charge pistol spam fest for the most part. Dumbass. How many fucking times are you going to say that? Oh, it's arbitrary. It needs to be integrated here, there. They need to do this with the style meter. The style meter is there, dumbass. 
and it's already integrated into the combat. Guess what? When you have a better style, you do better at the game and clear more enemies. How many fucking times do I have to say that? Come on, man. You do better. What are you talking about? Style meter that regenerates ammo, so you're rewarded with infinite ammo from the stylish performance. Dude. Okay, let me just explain this. You don't have to have better health regeneration with the style meter just for it to be meaningful to the player. The style meter in Devil May Cry is meaningful because the more you can skill into each aspect of your styles and make and get new moves for your style and new attacks. You can also switch between different styles in the middle of combat, making the combat system, well, complex. In Ultra Kill, it's actually similar in the sense that you can switch between different weapons and change the style meter in different ways, thus making the gameplay feel more interesting. Um, and then not only that, but you can also clear out enemies and face things a lot more with more efficiency and then you get even more style and then you get even better at the game you're not just clearing through by barely surviving what you're doing right now is barely surviving you barely scratched the surface of the mechanics of the game and you're already ready to judge the whole thing that you barely know anything about and i can tell by your gameplay that you barely know anything about the mechanics so how are you going to be the authority i personally still think the game needs a huge redesign to make ammo limited with traditional pickups around the arenas and a Ooh, let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin I'm happy that I was able to make your game better be alone it's slightly hard to believe but are you aware that nobody gives a shit stop sucking on your own dick and realize the fact that guess what it doesn't matter okay it, you realize that game developers all the time are going to come up with new ideas to upgrade their systems. Don't suck on your own dick like you're the sole reason for them deciding to patch the game. When other people make YouTube videos about certain AAA releases and give them ideas and stuff and they start patching the game, you don't see them sucking on their own dick saying, I am the sole reason. You know how many people have made videos on things that they should add to improve the game? You're not the only one, dude. So hop off your dick and calm down. So let's get into that. Does this update do anything to change my mind about the broken nature of Ultra Kill's design regarding infinite ammo, triple air dash, and charge shot pistol? No, it does not. Not for the first four chapters, zero to three. When I popped in this new Ultra Kill update, I said, okay, I haven't played in six months. I'm not a very good Ultra Kill player. I'm just gonna pick violent, the hardest difficulty, and screw around like I did before and see how far I make it. And it was the same story. Fight after fight was pretty easily passed by mindlessly dashing around and headshotting everyone and using the charge shot of the starting pistol. Mayo, you are going to make me lose my fucking shit for the last fucking time. Yes, dude. The style meter has meaning in the combat system. Stop saying that shit already. What the fuck? Where are you getting this from? So I'm happy that I was able to make your game better. Me alone. Oh, you alone. Oh my god, get off your own dick. There was so many people talking about many ways they can improve it, so what the fuck are you talking about? The entire prelude is filled with combat encounters that do nothing to make you feel like any other tactic is necessary to experiment with, due to how overwhelmingly powerful you are from the first room. Ooh, the hideous mass boss fight. This guy looks scary. Nope, just hop around and spam pistol until he dies. I mean, I could use other weapons, but this is already pretty effective, and the ammo is infinite. All I gotta do for more health is do a charge shot up in his face and I'm all good again. I don't need to do anything else because there's no problem to solve here. Just using other weapons to beat it faster doesn't equal fun. Not to me. If I were dying dozens of times by doing this dumb strategy, I'd feel like I should play with more weapons. And that would be fun because I would be solving a problem. The story doesn't change until the V2 boss fight, and that is one of my central issues with this game's design and the way the fanbase defends it. I hear all the time that it's not about being forced to play well, it's about being stylish, cause styling on enemies is fun. I hear all the time that it's not about being forced to play well, 
It's about being stylish, cause styling on enemies is fun. This is fun. If I want surviving the game to be challenging, I'm missing the point. Well then why is the V2 boss fight so demanding? I'm not complaining that it's a hard boss fight, I got my ass kicked by him the first time. What do you mean encouraging variety? The game already encourages variety because you have to switch between different weapons to master the game's mechanics, so what the fuck are you talking about? So the variety that you keep asking for was already there from the beginning. They just patched the game, dumbass. And also, you're... Hop off your own dick. So again, when it comes to gameplay variety, it was already there in the game. You switch between weapons, there was already variety prior. Just because they patched the game doesn't mean that there wasn't variety until the patch, genius. It was already there from the beginning. No, your idea of making the ammo limited is stupid because it would potentially imbalance the game. The game is already very difficult, alright? Not necessary, so please stop it. No. A style meter that regenerates ammo might make you overpowered if you decide to make ammo scarce. Guess what? If you make ammo a thing, and then you use the style meter to just keep gaining more ammo, then guess what? The game will become imbalanced. And we don't need an imbalanced experience because you wanted to add stuff when you don't even like the game in the first place. And just because you're projecting your issues you have with the game onto the game itself, right? Because you claim that there's an issue where really that's your issue and you're projecting your issue as if it's a universal issue with the game. Like they universally need to fix this or universally need to redesign that. No, don't redesign jack shit because it's fine the way it is. Don't mess with this game. Oh my God. Dude, get out of your freaking ego for a second. Okay, because what you're saying about this game of all games is really some serious levels of inaccuracy. No, you dumbass. Nobody wants infinite ammo being a reward in the game. Just leave the game the way it is. That's stupid. You and your ammo slash style meter system might work in another game, but not in Ultra Kill. Ultra Kill needs to stay refined and balanced. It's important that shooters, especially like Ultra Kill, are refined and balanced, which it is both of those things. So if you were to add that, you might kill the balance of the game, thus killing some of the fun. And people will be like, man, remember the vanilla days of Ultra Kill? It was so much better. We don't need that shit, dude. You're not, you're not the authority on a game that you barely even understand. And I can tell by your gameplay you barely understand. Have you noticed something? This guy's speaking with authority on Ultra Kill and he kind of, well, sucks at the game. Just saying. Hey, under the mail, why don't you just admit that you're not that good at Ultra Kill? Yeah, just say that. Don't project the fact that you're not that good in the game and project your issues onto the game. You know, like that's your issue is that you're not that good at it. So you can't project and then make it like that's the game's fault for you not having the necessary skill level. I mean, look at his gameplay. This dude is still on the low ends of the style. Dude, you, 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 your style meter's dull. It's literally in your gameplay. And you're over here getting on the game? Are you serious? So let's get into that. Does this update do anything to change my mind about the broken nature of Ultra Kill's design regarding infinite ammo, triple air dash, and charge shot pistol? Ultra Kill's design is not broken. Don't blame the game for your lack of skill. You're the one choosing to play that way, using just the pistol. What the hell is wrong with you? You realize that there's other weapons in the game, right? And the pistol is not OP before you even go there. That is horseshit, because guess what? The other weapons are extremely effective. And if you just use the pistol, you're nerfing yourself because you're not switching between multiple weapons and using combinations and aspects of the mechanics. So you're putting yourself at a disadvantage and it'll take way longer for you to defeat people, your style meter will be really low and it'll be harder to survive. Thus, you're not gonna have as much fun playing the game because you wanna spam that fucking pistol all day. That's your fault because you're the one choosing to only use the pistol because you don't know how to play the game. That's what people do in the beginning. Some people just use the marksman pistol because they don't know how to play yet. Yeah, I did that too in the beginning until I learned how to play the game and realized, hmm, let me switch between this weapon, that weapon. Don't give me that bullshit of, oh, the Act 2 update is what it took just for you to start switching weapons. That's your dumbass. People were switching weapons from day one at launch. Be quiet. Finally, you actually admitted that you're not a very good ultra kill player. So you're projecting your issue of not being very good onto the game. 
Let's be real, that's exactly what the fuck this sounds like. Because that's what it is. Dude, you just admitted that you're not that good at the game, but your stupid ass is gonna turn around and blame the game for it and say, all you gotta do is just shot them with the pistol. Under the mail, do yourself a favor. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. You're the one choosing to use a pistol, thus limiting your gameplay style, thus limiting the style meter, thus limiting the amount of enemies that you could kill at much quicker succession. That's your fault. What the fuck are you talking about? If you're not having fun with the game, it's because you're choosing to just use the pistol for everything, which is dumb. And I would love to see you beat some of the secret encounters that way. Oh wait, you'd have to switch your weapons, because in order to beat a lot of the secret bosses in the game, like some people has that you haven't, that I have, that you clearly haven't, right? And when you beat those secret encounters, guess what? You're not just gonna spam the fucking pistol, genius. You gotta use multiple different weapons. I dare you to do that shit and post it online. Just using the fucking pistol all day, when at some point you have to switch. Let's be real. I don't know why you don't just admit more clearly. How about you admit it straight up that you suck at Ultra Kill? And you're basically projecting your issue of you sucking onto the game. Why don't you just be a little bit more frank under the mayo? Does not. Not for the first four chapters, zero to three. When I popped in this new Ultra Kill update, I said, okay, I haven't played in six months. I'm not a very good Ultra Kill oh player. Oh my god. Under the mail, you're going to make me lose my fucking shit. I swear to God, if I hear it again, I'm gonna lose my shit. Dude, let me explain something to you very important, okay? You don't fucking need to only use the pistol to defeat enemies. How many fucking times do I have to say that? It's so annoying when I hear you say that because it's not accurate to the game. It's not just about the pistol. It's about the nail gun. It's about the explosive mechanism. It's about the marksman rifle and also the coins. You could switch between so many different play styles, not to mention the shotgun. And that also has an explosive mechanism in it too. There's so many different aspects of the mechanics you're not utilizing, but you're blaming the game for what you're choosing to do. You're choosing to just use the pistol like an idiot. That's you. And on top of that, don't give me that, oh, this is the most meaningful tactic in the game. That's stupid. No, it's not, dumbass. Because you can use other weapons in the game and you would actually clear through those enemies a lot faster if you did. So that's stupid. Again, you're slowing down and nerfing your own potential by choosing to use that pistol. That's why you're barely playing that well. Guys, let me tell you something. Ultra Kill is a pretty complex system of mechanics. There's a lot of different aspects to its mechanics and it's pretty incredible. The thing about it is, if you only use one weapon in Ultra Kill and don't switch between your weapons, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. What the fuck do you think Under the Mayo's doing? And look at his awful style meter. It keeps saying dull. It keeps saying stale. That should tell you something. A guy who doesn't fundamentally understand this game is speaking with authority on it, projecting his issues onto the game, and then he's acting like he's the goddamn authority on it. Oh my god. I'm just gonna pick violent, the hardest difficulty, and screw around like I did before and see how far I make it. And it was the same story. Fight after fight was pretty easily passed by mindlessly dashing around and headshotting everyone and using the charge shot of the starting pistol. The entire prelude is filled with combat encounters that do nothing to make you feel like any other tactic is necessary to experiment with. Bro, I swear to God, if you bring up that pistol problem again, Dude, I just explained. It's not the only tactic in order for you to progress through the game. You're choosing to use the pistol. Don't blame the game for what the fuck you're choosing to do when you play it. That's not fair to the game, dude. Jesus Christ, Mel. But if you used your other weapons, you would beat them a lot faster and more efficiently. So what are you talking about? and it's not even broken because the pistol and the other weapons of the game are very well refined and balanced. So that's also inaccurate. Man, don't you, haven't you seen the Ultra Kill speedrunning community? Haven't you seen the Ultra Kill community in general? Yeah, guess what? The game is fucking balanced. So what are you talking about? You're just choosing to use just the pistol and you're actually nerfing your own potential and the style meter by not utilizing other weapons. 
I mean, I could use other weapons. Uh, maybe you should try doing that before projecting your issue onto the game. Dude, try doing that when you fight B2. You heard, you, you see that, what he just said? All I gotta do is do a charge shot up in his face and I'm all good. Um, try doing that same shit with V2. I dare you. I completely dare you to do that. Not fucking easy. To buy him the first time and I got my ass kicked again this time. That's good. I actually had to play well to beat him. I don't need to do anything else because there's no problem to solve here. What the fuck are you talking about? Yes, you do. Because your style meter is stale and dull. The gameplay, you're having a rough time playing the game. And if you're having a rough time playing, sounds to me like you need to be using other tactics. So that's bullshit. The game is not fun because you keep using the pistol. Only the pistol. And you're not even trying to learn the mechanics of the game. You're the one that said a game should push you into its systems through challenge. What the fuck do you think Ultra Kill does, genius? by him the first time and I got my ass kicked again this time. That's good. I actually had to play well to beat him. It's not just him. But what about when you fight Gabriel, the apostate of hate? That's not easy to do. What about when you fight some of those other bosses? You can't always just do that. There are secret encounters where that's not easy to do. For instance, the secret encounter inside of the castle where there's a red and blue skull. Once you get the red skull and the blue skull and you go through that phase, those two bosses, it is very difficult for you to do that. So every boss fight is different, therefore you are wrong, therefore shut the fuck up. Here's the thing about Ultra Kill. It pushes you into its systems through challenge. The game is hard as fuck and only teaches you the base uh, basics of the mechanics and that's it. Everything else are things you're going to have to figure out on your own. So it's not fucking easy. And it has a style meter, meaning it's going to prompt you to play better. And if you don't, you're going to have a rough time because you're not using creativity or style. Here's Ultra Kill. Use creativity and style or die. Here's Under the Mayo. Oh my god, I'm using a pistol, but the game's in balance because I want to use a pistol. Idiot. That's because you're the one choosing to use a pistol. The game's not in balance. Your dumbass just needs to start switching your weapons. Oh, and if you switch your weapons, you would play better, genius. Reviving the game to be challenging, I'm missing the point. Well, then why is the V2 boss fight so demanding? Did you really just ask that stupid ass fucking question? Why is the V2 boss fight demanding? Because genius, it's a harder boss fight. Aren't you the same one that said, oh man, I could just spam this pistol. You will guess, guess what? Try doing that with V2. Yeah, you can't just use one thing in this game. You gotta really know what the fuck you're doing. That's what I'm trying to explain to you and you don't even understand this game. You're talking about a game you barely understand. You sound ridiculous. Dude. Ultra Kill is just hard, period. To buy him the first time, and I got my ass kicked again this time. That's good. I actually had to play well to beat him. But doesn't that go against what everyone says? That the challenge of Ultra Kill comes from going for P rank or whatever? Isn't that what everyone says? Isn't the challenge just from P rank? The Dude, the challenge is the game itself. It's hard. The game is hard, dude. The game is just hard. That's it. It's that simple. Ultra Kill is a hard game. That's it. Bam. Regardless of what you're trying to do, it's not fucking easy. That's the point. You're the same person who said games should push you into a system through challenge. Here goes a game that's doing that. You're complaining. But I... <sighs> I understand you like Doom Eternal, but here's what I don't understand under the mail. If you love Doom Eternal, how the fuck could you hate Ultra Kill? It makes no sense. This is an arena shooter, just like Doom Eternal is an arena shooter. Except Ultra Kill has unique mechanics separate from Doom Eternal. A completely unique experience with its own complex mechanics you would never see in Doom Eternal. So I'm just shocked that you don't see this as one of the more unique and unconventional Not the actual of passing of the game's levels. Is this supposed to be a hard skill-based game or not? If all you want to do is style on fools, maybe you'd be happy with an endless arena of enemies that just stand there not attacking, and you can style to your heart's content with no cumbersome challenges getting in your way. Oh my god, you are going to make me lose my mind under the mail. You are going to make me lose my mind. I'm trying to keep my composure. What you're saying is so aggravating. Oh, he just...
you're saying that the hardest part is apparently based off of the fan base oh it's not from the hardest part the hardest part is not from passing the levels it's from the styling so all you got to do is style on fools so what's going on with the game's challenge you moron dude the game itself is hard it doesn't matter what you try to do beat that boss beat v2 beat the final boss beat gabriel of the apostate beat the hardest bosses in the fucking game beat the secret encounters beat that stuff okay now do things in style because you're struggling with that level oh having a rough time you better start switching your weapons okay now get that a rank okay now get that s rank okay now get that p rank i know you can do better than that that is the challenge of the game dumbass it's more than just one thing it's multiple things the game is just hard that fucking simple the game is a hard challenging experience that pushes you into its systems through challenge and depth and as complex video game mechanics and if you were to just sit down for one second shut the fuck up and put that damn pistol down and use multiple weapons you would actually see that but doesn't that go against what everyone says? That the challenge of Ultra Kill comes from going for P rank or whatever, not the actual passing of the game's levels? Is this supposed to be a hard skill based game or not? If all you want to do is style on fools, maybe you'd be happy with an endless arena of enemies that just stand there not attacking, and you can style to your heart's content with no cumbersome challenges getting in your way. Ah did you just compare styling on fools to an endless arena of enemies not attacking? Are you alright? That brain of yours is working up there, right? Stupid shit is that. Nobody cares about standing docile NPCs that don't fight back. These enemies do fight back and actually each enemy poses a threat so that's inaccurate. I don't know why you're bringing that up and comparing the two. I guess you would prefer that instead if that's what you like. That was stupid because it's not just about the style. You're wrong, period. Over here talking about, oh, if that's what people want, then maybe they would prefer some arena with non-moving. That's stupid. Dude, the whole point of the style and enemies, how can you complete that with enemies around? At that point, do you even play Devil May Cry? Don't you understand the point of Devil May Cry? You might as well be complaining about Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry has a style meter and has different styles of play. Hey, there's different styles of play in Ultra Kill 2. There's different weapons, something you barely use. Oh, finally, it only took you like fucking forever and your style is actually doing better. Yeah, when you switch your damn weapons, like I told you earlier. Damn, they're not attacking and you can style to your heart's content with no cumbersome challenges getting in your way. Ah. Stupid! That's the whole point of the style is the fact that you're able to do it with enemies around. That's what gives it skill. It takes skill to do that style with enemies trying to kill you, genius. That's why it's so incredible to accomplish. That's part of the challenge. What's wrong with you? Is getting in your way. I, on the other hand, want the game to present a challenge overall. God, here we go. I, on the other hand, oh, get the hell over yourself. Jesus, shut the fuck up. Not just in an end of level ranking system. That's why I'm happy to see a difficult boss fight finally. Oh my God, under the mail, you're so annoying. <gasps> what do you mean, oh, there's finally a difficult boss fight finally? You, uh, but there was already difficult bosses throughout the game. All you had to do was pay attention. There's already difficult bosses throughout Ultra Kill, so that is a disingenuous statement. You're judging the game by unfair means. Come on. That's his thing. That's like his thing. Holy fuck. You are so retarded. That's what the entire game does. It pushes me to experiment more. I had no choice but to experiment with Ultra Kill. Do you know why? Okay, let me tell you a story. I started off using the Marksman Charge Pistol. That's right, I did, because I didn't know how to play the game. It wasn't because, like, this person <sighs> is doing. He is being ridiculous and unreasonable with this game, and it's driving me fucking up the wall. You see, when I played Ultra Kill, I just did that because I didn't know how to play, okay? And over time, I had to learn, and eventually I had to start switching between my weapons, and then eventually I had to move faster and quicker, and then things started clicking more, and I realized, dude, I gotta make sure I switch between my weapons, I gotta make sure that I do combinations, I gotta make sure that I master the mechanics, I gotta make sure that I... 
and one thing led to another. Now, I barely use the pistol. I only use it for a few precise shots. It's very rare, and sometimes, just for the fun of it, I might use a coin here or there or two. And that's really it. This dude, on the other hand, is just only using the pistol. He's still stuck on the same thing for months and months. He has not learned or improved at the game. He has not understood the game, and yet he's speaking with authority on it. And it's unfortunate because under the mail, I actually love your work, but this is some of the most disingenuous shit I've ever heard you say. And it's so contradictory because you brag about Doom Eternal so hard. You know a game that did this better? Doom Eternal. You know another game that actually mastered that? Doom Eternal. Um, by the way, Doom Eternal, Doom Eternal. Um, Doom Eternal with a side of Doom and another side of Eternal. Okay, so you go on and on about that game, but you hate Ultra Kill. They're both arena shooters. You realize they're in the same genre. I am so shocked that this game is the game you get on. And this is a more complex arena shooter than even that of Doom Eternal. And yet you haven't even at least, at least acknowledged what it got right. And you barely did. You gave it one bone about that one boss fight. Oh, get the fuck out of here. You can do better than that. You should have acknowledged a lot more about the game than that because you're just brushing past all the things that, that game achieved and accomplished. But I bet you if someone did that to Doom Eternal, you'd be the first in line to start saying, what the hell. Um, that's why I'm happy to see a difficult boss fight finally. It doesn't make me use every single option and tactic there are, no game is going to do that, but it pushes me to experiment a little more, and that's what a game needs to do. The problem is that the game does nothing in the levels leading up to this boss fight to make you feel like any real strategy is actually important. There are five stages in the prelude, and three stages in the limbo chapter, that hardly contain a sliver of demanding combat to make me stop relying on runaway charge pistol spam. Oh my god, games need to push you into its systems through challenge. Suddenly, you're fighting some kind of hard boss in the beginning of the game or something, and it's like the third level. Suddenly in the third level, you're fighting a hard boss. The prelude is like four or five levels, there's about three or four levels in the prelude, right? Then you get to the main base levels. I guess you skip the prelude if you're gonna say that ridiculous nonsense. And when you get to like the third level or something, bam, there's a boss. Oh my God, game should push you into a system to challenge. There's a boss fight, oh! Do you even hear yourself? Under the Mayo just complained about the fact that there's a boss fight in the, early on in the game. But he's the same one saying games should push you into a system through challenge. Ultra Kill's literally doing that, which is fucking awesome, and he won't even acknowledge that. Really fucking dumb. You you complain about the same thing that Ultra Kill provides. Do you hear yourself? And then suddenly you're fighting the hardest enemy in the game that's treating you like you're already a seasoned veteran. It's like raising a child for 18 years and handing them everything in life, never asking them to do anything like cook, clean, work, fix something, and then suddenly kicking them out on the street and saying, find a way to survive or die, kid, good luck. What the fuck? Raising a child, handling them everything in life? Dude, Ultra Kill does the complete opposite. It doesn't hand you jack shit. It makes, it tells you that you better figure it out. Go ahead, figure it out. And it's not easy. The shit is hard. It is no joke, especially when you fight some of the secret encounters. So what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it doesn't hand you anything. The game barely even teaches you its mechanics that much in the beginning. Only a few of the basic mechanics of the game. That's it. So it doesn't even hand you anything. The only thing it hands you is a fucking weapon, and you better figure it out. So that was a disingenuous statement. Why are you comparing something like that? Oh, kick them out, kick them out, and then suddenly you want the kid to survive even though you didn't teach them how. Dude, games should push you into its systems through challenge. Okay, there's a boss fight early on in the game. So what? Nobody complained when the original God of War started off with a boss fight in the beginning of the game. I don't remember you complaining. Aren't you a fan of the God of War? Me too. I love the God of War. To, I love that game. I love, love that game. But dude, what the heck, man? What's going on? Dude, games should push you into its systems through challenge. What the fuck do you think Ultra Kill's doing when it has a boss early on? Dark Souls has a boss in the asylum early on. God of War has a boss early on. Ultra Kill has a boss early on. Why don't those games get criticized, but this does? Talk about double standards. So then, 
dude, you have to at least acknowledge the fact that the game does a good job of challenging you early on by having boss fights like other games do. That's kind of a double standard. Why are you having a double standard, but then if it's God of War, it's okay. What's that about? Yo, strategy? Chi, I don't know. Maybe I should use my shotgun. Maybe I should use the marksman. Maybe I should use the coins on the marksman. Maybe I should use the nail gun. You're talking about strategy? Strategy? Different weapons? Strategy? Hello? Um, it's in the game? Did you hear what Under the Mail just said? He just admitted the truth. To make me stop relying on the charged pistol spam. Just like when I first played the game, I had to rely on that because I, I didn't know how to play. You're doing the exact same thing. You got caught under the mayo. You just suck at Ultra Kill. Just say it, dude. All right? Just admit it. You suck at Ultra Kill. Don't blame the game for you sucking at this shit. Come on. And you're saying that you admitted it by saying I'm relying on that. So if you're relying on the pistol, that's your fault. For uh, That's you. That's You need to get better at the game and take your time and learn. Don't blame the game for what you're doing. Dumb. That's why I'm happy to see a difficult boss fight finally. It doesn't make me use every single option and tactic there are, no game is going to do that, but it pushes me to experiment a little more, and that's what a game needs to do. The problem is that the game does nothing in the levels leading up to this boss fight to make you feel like any real strategy is actually important. There are five stages in the prelude, and three stages in the limbo chapter, that hardly contain a sliver of demanding combat to make me stop relying on runaway charge pistol spam. You're not about to get on the balance of the first four chapters. You better shut that the hell up right now. You cannot blame the game for your lack of skill. Don't blame the game for the fact that you had a rough time and then call it imbalanced. Oh, get the fuck out of here. That's you. Stop it. There was nothing wrong with those four chapters at all. They were extremely refined, very balanced, and they allowed you to figure it out on your own, which I love. I had to figure and solve all the puzzles out on my own, and I figured it out. And I think they were placed extremely well. Don't even. That's no way to raise a strong person and set them up for success. After V2, the game goes back to being pretty easy to pass with a runaway charge pistol spam. And I just don't agree with this kind of structure. If you think it's fine, well, okay. I know there's plenty of people who enjoy freestyling in a vacuum, but I don't want to feel like the skillful play is just occasionally demanded here and there and sprung on me out of nowhere. I want a game that makes me feel like I'm leveling up due to the escalating challenging nature of the level design and AI, eventually testing my learned skills with boss fights. So much of this game's depth is easy to overlook because of the poor balance of the first four chapters, and that's why I said there's no enemy-specific weaknesses. Look, I've seen all the comments listing all the vulnerabilities and tactics for different enemies. Okay, that's fair, but that's not the point. The so you've seen the comments of the fact that enemies have different vulnerabilities to certain attacks, and you're like, that's not the point. No, that is the point, because you said earlier that the game doesn't push you into using and experimenting. What do you think that means? If they have different vulnerabilities, then you have to experiment for another reason. So you're wrong right there. You just got caught in your own double standard. But that's not the point. I'm gonna come up there right now and I'm gonna fucking stuff that thing up your fucking ass. Go fuck yourself! The point is that it's so easy to play the game and never notice them because you can spend like 15 levels not noticing anything. Because the infinite ammo starting pistol and lack of combat intensity make it easy to not notice anything. But no, ah, oh, it's so easy to never notice. Ah, oh, shut the hell up. That's bullshit. You got caught in your own double standard. You said earlier that, oh, the game doesn't push you to experiment. Then people showed you the fact that enemies have different functions. So you have to use different methods to beat them. So what are you talking about? You're wrong, dude. Just admit it. I'm wrong. Just admit it. You can spend like 15 levels not noticing anything. You can spend like 15 levels not noticing anything. Because the infinite ammo starting pistol and lack of combat intensity make it easy to not notice anything. Mayo, if you start with that fucking pistol again, I'm gonna blow a fucking casket. I just explained over and over. Dude, you have to use different weapons in order to do better and clear enemies faster and have a better style and live. 
you're barely surviving right now. No, you want to be able to literally survive in style. That's the point of Ultra Kill, to live, man. To actually be able to do all kinds of things with the gameplay mechanics so you can beat them a lot better. So, first thing, the health regeneration rewards. There was already health regeneration from getting close to an enemy anyway. And you even complained and said, all I have to do is that, and I get to have health. Okay, so you and your little idea and stuff, you're not the only thing. They have come up with all kinds of stuff whenever they patch games based off of what the community is saying, not just you and you alone, ding -a -ling. Get out of your ego. And for as good as Ultra Kill's Act 2 additions and rebalancing are, and for as much as I appreciate the steps towards integrating the style meter into the gameplay loop with health regeneration rewards, the game is still really bad at getting you ready for the difficulty spikes. Second of all, didn't you say that same thing about another game? Oh, it does a bad job of getting you ready for its difficulty spikes. That's not even true. You said that about Sifu. Wrong. I beat that game, spared all the bosses multiple times over and over back to back. Okay? So I know that game pretty well. That was wrong. You were wrong about multiple things. You were wrong about that and you were wrong about the student mode. No, it eases you into the mechanics. So that was wrong too. You're wrong, period. So what the hell are you talking about? You were wrong, period. The game is challenging, period. Sifu is hard, period. That is a hard fucking game. And Sifu eases you into, it shows you its mechanics. It shows you some of the most important mechanics in the game. It just doesn't hold your hand. Ultra Kill only shows you the basic mechanics, but it eases you into the gameplay loop. And then you do fight a boss, but it's still, it's not all up in your face. You can pick from any level you want. You don't have to go straight to that level. You can just go to a normal level anyway. So it doesn't even matter. You can even practice in the cyber grind until you're ready to face that boss. That's what I did with Gabriel the Apostate and finally beat him. So that's not true. You were wrong on both of those accounts. Rewards, the game is still really bad at getting you ready for the difficulty spikes. Finally, in the later parts of the Greed chapter, in Act 2, I feel like I can't play dumb anymore. And it's a great feeling, especially with the rebalancing the game is seen in certain AI, and me being punished for not engaging in the style meter. Ultra Kill starts to feel like a pretty fun game outside of personal style challenges. And that's where this Act 2 update succeeds. Before this update, I really only had fun in the cyber grind, because the cyber grind made me stop playing dumb. Now, Act 2 feels more like the cyber grind. The pressure is really turned up. Just look at the footage. I'm no professional, obviously, but I'm using projectile boosts, timing my railgun shots to refill health, flying around with the whiplash. It's fun. It's fun because it's helping me be victorious. I'm not looking at the style meter or ranking system at all. I'm playing this way because it's helping me survive. You said you feel like you can't play dumb anymore? Dude, that's why your style meter was so bad for so long. You can't play dumb, period. Now your style meter's finally getting better. Okay, it's still getting better. Let me explain something to you very important. You can't play dumb in Ultra Kill and expect to just survive like that. It's going to be a very rough time for you, so stop it. You're so stupid! He said the cyber grind only like that because I didn't have to play dumb. This feels like the cyber grind because I don't have to play dumb. Uh, like, you sound like dumb. Okay, so first off, there's a lot of levels that are hard. Maybe arguably even harder than just the cyber grind. Are you serious? And there's some parts that are just as hard, if not even harder, than the cyber grind itself. The cyber grind is just you surviving in multiple waves with the mechanics of the game, dude. The, can the missions have a lot of stuff you gotta do. You gotta do all kinds of stuff and all kinds of bosses you have to face and secret encounters. That's not easy. And you're gonna have to start mastering those mechanics if you're gonna beat those secret encounters, especially. Just look at the footage. I'm no professional, obviously, but I'm using projectile boosts, timing my railgun shots to refill health, flying around with the whiplash. It's fun. It's fun because it's helping me be victorious. I'm not looking at the style meter or ranking system at all. I'm playing this way because it's helping me survive. Under the Mail is sitting there talking about his Ultra Kill gameplay. Dude, don't even, bro. Come on, man. This is... I mean, look, man. Your gameplay... You can't brag about your Ultra Kill gameplay while 
thrashing the game like this. And you're not even using the style meter to its potential like that. Your style meter is still really low. And yet you're trashing the game when your style meter is that low, but now you want to start bragging about your style meter when it slightly got a little bit higher. Dude, man, there's so much more you could do if you just stop spamming the charge pistol. That's your choice. You're the one choosing to do that for whatever reason and blaming the game for what you're doing. You said you're playing this way because it's helping you survive. What do you think the point of Ultra Kill is? A lot of times, you're gonna end up playing the game, right? And when you play Ultra Kill, what happens? You're trying to survive in the very beginning because you don't know how to play the game. So if you're trying to survive in the very beginning of the game, guess what? That's the point of the game. So when you talk about, oh, it's not letting me experiment and all I gotta do is spam the same thing and all you gotta do is style on fools, you styling on fools, as you call it, is helping you survive in the game, genius. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Does anybody notice that Under the Mayo is just really bad at ultra kill? And I mean, come on, this gameplay, you're not even taking advantage of the mechanics. You're not taking advantage of the weapons. It seems to me you kind of suck at ultra kill. And no wonder you're so critical because you're having a hard time with the game. Instead of allowing yourself to master the mechanics, you're just gonna blame the game for it. You hear how positive I'm being? Oh, please, you were just thrashing the game. Calm down. I'm really inspired by where the game's going. But when I talk about the problems the changes haven't addressed, I get negative all over again. The first four chapters of Ultra Kill still need serious work to lead the player up to the insanity of the later levels. No, they don't. The first four chapters are fine the way they are. They're fine and we're balanced. They're refined to a certain level. If you try to tamper with it, you might mess with what was already refined. What are you talking about? Where? What do you have to base on this? The only thing you have to base on this is, oh, well, it needs to ease you into its systems more. What? You said that about Shifu, and that was wrong there, too. Why are you repeating the same thing again? Just because you repeat the same thing doesn't mean it's suddenly right. Without that good pacing, a player can arrive at those later fights having learned nothing, and now it's like they're starting from zero just trying to make it through. At this point, I'm really looking forward to what comes next for Ultra Kill. I hope the creative boss fights keep coming, I hope the intense combat encounters continue to add new, fresh elements, I hope the balance continues to tighten, and I hope they push further in the direction of making the style meter and other mechanics important to the gameplay. And if they're not going to straight up change it, I would love to see an option to play a version of Ultra Kill that has limited ammo that is regenerated with the style meter. That's a game I want to play. And that's it. So you're going to pretend like you were being so positive about this game. You were just thrashing it all this time. Are you serious? That's a game you want to play. Okay. First off, all you had to do was switch your weapons. That's the first thing. The second thing is a lot of what you said in this video shows your double standards. I didn't realize it, but you actually do have double standards on certain games. And you even repeated the same criticism that you had with Shifu with Ultra Kill. Come on, man. You are not fair or reasonable with this game. And that's the problem with this video. Ultra Kill is a really... I, I, want, I urge you to play the game for yourself and see that game. Please, please get your own assessment because his assessment can't be trusted because he has double standards. And this was Tarragon. Thank you for watching.